Homegrown Radio. Homegrown Radio. Real 92. All right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. West man, Coast. been looking forward for this one for a long time, man. We got Roochie in the building, man. Roochie oh, in the building. What's the deal? Yes, man. What's yes going sir. On, man, how you doing, bro? Man, I'm doing good. Man, Amazing. It, it, it's <laughs> good to see. Uh, that smile, man. It's good yeah. to see the energy that, that you're coming with, that that album's out right now, and you making your rounds, bro. Yeah, hell How, yeah. How's it feeling, man? Uh, Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. It's, you know what I'm saying? Just a nonstop movement. Yeah. That's it. You just said you having fun. Yeah, I'm having too much fun, honestly. Is this like the first time where you really get, like, no no pun intended, let your hair down and just fucking, like, hell yeah. and just enjoy it? Because I know you've been in the studio. Uh, But even then, like, I always take, Take everything as just like regular shit. I, I don't take nothing too serious to the point where I feel like I'm overworking or none of that. I just have fun all the time, keep smiling and do whatever I feel like I need to do to put my foot down on shit. Has me? it always been like that for you in yeah. terms of like when it comes came to the music? Like just make sure you have yeah, fun, fun with it. Fun, because I don't I don't write or nothing. So you feel me? I'm just literally doing what like Word. on a day to day basis. Like me and the homies, you feel me? Whatever we do. We making sure we got something to talk about every day. You gotcha. feel me? How, how does that work structure wise though? When you, when you're creating music and trying to get some shit down, like I know it's off the fly, but what if mm-hmm. it if it just don't come that day? Is it just like, like I, we I'm, ain't not I'm a good or? I'm a good person like when it comes to putting myself in situations mm-hmm. like in my head, gotcha. like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like say like one day like going in with even with the album, like you feel me? I I went uh, like a, through a tunnel vision, like you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go through these emotions for this album. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just me, like, literally doing what I feel, whatever I feel. Do you feel with, with this particular album that you touched on topics or things that you may have not have done on the past projects or it was, like, every other every other project? Yeah, this is Taco Sun is me opening up. Dope. It's literally me telling y'all, like, why I act the way I act. Gotcha. Or, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's, that's it's good. literally me opening up. That's all it is. Because I always have, like... Like music to tell you about like what's going on, but I never really told you like about my pops. I never really exactly. told nobody about the story. You feel me? So this is just letting the world know. You feel me? And, and for the folks that don't know, that on on the cover that is your pops. Yeah, that's that is, my that's, pops. That's fucking fire. The yeah. way you're looking at him through the mirror, that, that shit is hard, bro. Yeah, that shit is crazy. We did that in Mexico. Was that was that your idea to like go that direction with it? Uh, the Taco Son, yeah, yeah. Like that was uh, and like like the homies from the hood and shit. Like you feel me, everybody. Like it was just. In, I was recording over there at fifteen hundred and nothing before they took it down. So we it's in the it's in the area. So all the homies just come to the studio every day. And we was really trying to figure out what we was gonna name the album. I was gonna name the album Nas North, but I didn't want to box myself in. Exactly. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I just literally they was like, well, look, if you going if you feel like you gonna put your you know what I'm saying foot on the gas, let's just go all the way. You feel me? And let them know where you coming from Open and why you way, why yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Known over here. So, yeah, with Taco Sun, I'm just like, yeah, I'm about to open up, man. I'm about to let them know. But, yeah, that was uh, my managers and them. They they really, like, you feel me, made that shit way stronger. I was I was on it at first. I'm like, yeah, it's Taco Sun, but they pushed it to the next level. As far as the, the name or the concept? The name, the concept, gotcha. everything. You feel me? Because I was just on some, like, yeah, I'm going to do the album, but... I wasn't thinking deeper into that shit. Gotcha. I wasn't thinking about doing no cover like that. I wasn't yeah, a concept yeah. too. Yeah. So they uh, really... um, and this is the first time that I noticed it, it was a trend because like I caught wind of you. I think around was it around? I want to say right after El Pero. Mm-hmm. Maybe like right after that. I, somebody uh, shout out to Sasha. She's mm-hmm. the one who put me up on you. Sasha P. And yeah. then um, and then you you dropped like. You, this the first time you kind of went around uh, away from the dog shit. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, because I peeped that, right? Yeah. And I was like, because you had El Perro, El, El then you had uh, For uh, My Dogs, mm-hmm. you had... Uh, Doggy Style. Doggy Style. Yeah. So why, like, what was that? Like, what was the thought process be- behind going away from that? Because that's like your thing. Um, Basically, I didn't want it to be super cliche on some West Coast shit, bro. I didn't want people like think it was just like Roots Dog, Snoop Dog, and shit like yeah. that, you feel me? Like, I love the legends, you know what I'm saying? I pay homage to the legends, that's why I did Doggy Style. Yeah. Um, but I just literally want to let the world see, like, me for who I am, and I want to give myself something. And you did it, you, you know already, what I'm saying? Yeah. You already did that, though, too, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So this one is like you standing on your own, too, with this. Yeah, that's literally, crazy. That's I just wanted to create my my own my own history, my own, you know what I'm saying? So what's the story with, with Rucci, man? How, how did you step into the music? Like, what was that inspiration for you to actually get into the booth and, like, record? Man, losing my father figures in life, you know what I'm saying? I dropped out of high school. My mama didn't give a fuck. She right. was just like, is this what you want to do? This is what we're going to do. I dropped out of high school and started rapping. Just like, and they were cool with that? My mom is cool. Bro. My mom. mom is like my best friend. That's she dope. literally told me, like, this is what you want to do. You better do it. You feel me? And I just put my wow. foot down. You feel me? So, what, 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 
what grade did you drop out of high tenth school? Tenth grade. Tenth grade. Yeah. So you stopped going completely at tenth grade. But I wasn't even going even when I was supposed nice. to be in school. Right. You feel me? I went to Santa Monica. Santa Monica High School. Gotcha. Wow. And like when I went to Santa Monica, they had opened up a lot of opportunities that I've never seen before coming from like Inglewood School Districts, Hawthorne School Districts. I never seen the beach every day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was just a whole nother world. Yeah. So yeah, I went out there and I was just like, bro, I was just enjoying life. I wasn't worried about school. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wasn't worried about school. I was just really like finding myself and I Yo, really found myself. That's, that's interesting because like in most cases when people are either bust to different school districts or yeah. see a different way of life, they would take that opportunity to say, okay, but let me use this for the betterment and, and do the schooling. But you, you just like, nah, fuck that. Nah, I, seen I seen life. life. Yeah. I seen like, like my friends. I had Persian friends. I seen like all oh, kind of like, I'm going to my my people house and at we ditching. Mm -hmm. They mama making lunch like they knew we was ditching. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? I'm walking on the north of Montana over yeah. there, Santa Monica. Like it was just, I wanted that. I That's wanted it all, wild. you know what I'm saying? I literally just dropped out and was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to be rich, you feel me? So you was exposed to a whole different way of life, and then yeah. that's what made you, was like, I'm going to go after this shit instead yeah. of, gotcha. I was, I, was, I, want, I wanted to be, like, somebody. That's it. I just wanted to be somebody. What, was there something else aside from music that you were plotting on as well, or was it always Bro, music? I had nothing. You just I'm going to be somebody. Yeah, I just wanted to be somebody that so, my mom could be happy oh, about, okay. you feel me? And I literally just, I was like, what, I'm going to be a rapper. I've been... Like, knowing how to rap, right, though, right. like, since I was a kid, like, I've been knowing how to do it. I used to, like, make voicemails on my mom's house phone, like, rapping and shit, you <laughs> feel me? Yeah. So I've been knowing what to do, and I'm a super music head. When it, like, I love all type of genres of music. So, yeah, I'm like, man, I'm finna do this. I knew, I, I, knew I could do it. It's just I, I knew it took patience. Was your first rap that you ever did weak? Nah. It was, it was hard? It was hard. The first one you ever did, recorded? It was a voicemail. Damn. Just leave a message to the dial tone because me and my mama is not at home. We gonna <laughs> holler back when we get back in. And for sure, we gonna get the party cracking again on me. I was, get the fuck okay. out of here. Dog. I was like five or six. For real? Yeah. I've been, I'm telling That's you, bro. That's crazy. I was three years old. At Disneyland, my mama let me always, she exposed me to all the bullshit, all the good shit, you feel me? I was three on at Disneyland on the table rapping sugar free, you feel me? Like, you get feel me? I'm telling y'all, I just felt like when I dropped out of high school, I'm like, I'm gonna be somebody, but mm -hmm. I, I never went away from me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm about to do this. Did you did you get any pushback? Obviously, it's against the law for a minor to not go to school. Mm -hmm. So, did, like, how did y'all navigate that? You and your moms? Did she just she didn't give um, a fuck? Or? She didn't give a fuck. It was literally like she worked. My mom worked a government job. She got a great job. You feel me? But it was just me and her at the time. I didn't have no like even my step pops that went to jail at the time. So it was like I didn't I didn't have. Nobody to really, like, look up to, you feel me? But my mom always been the type of person to, like, every L is a lesson. Like, you're going to learn from this shit right here. You're going yeah. to you understand where you're going to be, you feel me? Right. She told me, like, I ain't going to ever kick you out of my house. Damn. Just know that, you feel me? But you're not just not going to do nothing. You're yeah. not going to be sitting here playing right. 2K all day. Yeah, and I learned that early, though, you feel me? I was getting my ass out the house and going to the studio and trying to figure out what this music shit can do for me. Yeah. You know? Do you think that... Do you think, because I feel like, obviously, like, it's the same story for everybody, right? right? Especially in our community. No dad around, no father figure type shit. I felt like, and I've said this on the radio before, I felt like I benefited from not having him around. Because I, it taught me a different way of how to have Hell to, like, stand yeah. up on my own. Exactly. That's you exactly like, what it is. I literally, like, I, my dad loved me to death. He's always done as much as he could do for me. For me, just problems with the law. And you feel me? A lot of people, can, I, I never judge my dad off of being in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know he loved me, but he loved the streets too. Got you. So I never judged. I just always understood what I had to do for myself. Did you ever so feel you like mean? he loved you more than the streets at, at, at a certain nah, he, time? I feel like he loved the streets more than anything. Gotcha. Anybody will tell you that Got about you. my dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you so how did I, I want you to like obviously um wait what, you you mixed? Yeah, I'm black and El Salvadorian. Okay, black yeah. and El Salvadorian. Yeah. So and your dad is where? In Tijuana right now. In TJ right now. Yeah. Is he is he not allowed in he, the state? He not he can't come back at all. At wait, all. Wait, wait. Why at is all? that? He got deported. His papers fucked up. His criminal record is horrible. You feel me? Oh shit. So it's like they just. So they, one day, it's, no, they randomly came and got him though, cause he got out. They had went to jail. For, uh, him and my uncle, I went to jail for attempted murder, like back when I was in tenth grade. You feel me? And uh, when he got out though, he had did five years. He did, he took a deal and got five years with a strike. When he got out, he was doing good. You feel me? But then ICE randomly came and got him. Wow. You feel me? So this is before Trump and all that shit. This is right when Trump. This, this is like 2014, 2015. That's crazy. Yeah. 
This is right when all that happened. All so that. I, I was, I never was into like the politics and none of that, but I had to really start opening my eyes to that you type of stuff because it was happening right yeah, in front of my yeah, face. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, they had him in ICE and immigration for like probably a year, and then they deported him to El Salvador. But he's from a black gang, and he's full Hispanic. Right. So getting off that plane out there, you gotta, you gotta hide. You gotta. Hell yeah. And mess, they ain't playing. You know they, yeah. they for me. So and my my uh, my grandpa live out there though. Okay. So he my had, grandpa got a lot of money out there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He got a lot of money out there, so he was able to. Give him a shelter, like you feel me. So do you, when when the way when they came and got him, were you around? Were you there? Or? Nah, my little brother was there. I wasn't. I wasn't at the house. It was just him, and my little brother. He thought it was like probation or something. You feel me? They just yeah. randomly popped well, up. They just came and knocked Sweet. on the door. Juan Martinez. Damn. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Was, out of nowhere though, like he was. This is the first time he ever had a job. So in he his like, life. I'm doing good. But he had a job. Straight. He was taking care of my little brother. He wow. was doing good. You feel me? And they just came and got him. Tell me. Yeah. How did that? How do you feel like that affected your family? Like, direct, like as man, well? bro, it went. It was horrible because it's like we got my 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 uncle. He had left us. He he was the other one on the attempted murder case with my dad. You feel me? And he got thirty five years. Mm -hmm. So that was our pride and joy of our family. So when my dad came home, you feel me? It was like we have got something back. A piece mm -hmm. of it, yeah. You feel me? And then it got taken away. So it's like we they always relied on me. You know what I'm saying? Got it. They you, always, you, have you always been, like, ever since your dad left, been the lead pretty yeah, much, exactly. the head of the household? You feel me? I'm taking care of my brother, my little brother, my little sister. You feel me? I'm, I just always been that type of person. Like, you feel me? Even with my mom, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm like that's my best friend. Like, we treat each other like brother and sister. So it's like that, I've always been, like, somebody that's going to run something. It seemed like your mom, like, the way you talk about your mom, she kind of been preparing you for this type of shit Hell your whole yeah. life. Yeah. Cause like Man. not hiding. Cause I, this is the thing. This is the thing with me. You don't have. You have kids. No. See, I don't have no kids either. But and Chuck just became a father. Yeah. Okay. But um. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Appreciate I that. always said that if I was to do that, I want to do how your mom did. Expose them to everything. I want to expose them to everything. Exactly. So that way they. Cause I feel like a lot of kids come into the, into adulthood, they not prepared. That's like, how I am. Even with my little sister. My little sister just hit eighteen. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I ain't the type of big brother to be like, oh, you can't do this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like that. It, it box them in and it make them feel like they got to hide stuff from me. You know what I'm saying? My mom always let me, like, voice my opinion. Let me do what I want to do. I, she always told me I could tell her whatever, anything. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember the first time you cursed in front of your mom? Yeah, I was young. Did she didn't, and she wasn't yeah, tripping. She wasn't tripping. My mom, I'm telling you, I meet my mom when y'all going to be like, what? So but what, she has a great job. Yeah, like, yeah she's that, that, like, that type of person. Yeah. But when it comes to her son, like, she just... The coolest mom. Now, what what was her relationship with your dad at the time? Were they was she like, did they have a good relationship in her? I think they still about him. To and they you? still talk all the time. Gotcha. I think they, I think they still like each other. They not together though. They, they still go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. They be doing little shit on Instagram and shit. Like, <laughs> like what right. they be doing I'll on Instagram? It. I'm just, I'll be looking at the DMs. They're like, I see it. I was like, he be sending me screenshots because he want my mama. You feel me? So he be sending me that old yeah, thing back. He be sending me screenshots. Like, I think she liked me again. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> so that but was they, a, they super cool. Was there? So they they end up falling out or they, yeah? When I was young, because I was young when they split. My uh, my dad was just crazy, man. Got you. He loved the streets. He loved the streets. Got he you. couldn't get away from the streets. So you feel me? My mom was always wanted to be bigger than a lot of stuff. You so know? with your with with the album like Taco Son, right? Yeah. Obviously. Obviously, it's about your dad and, yeah. you know, basically who you are as a person and stuff like that. Um, what percentage would you say you are of your mom versus your dad? I say probably like 60% pops, 40% my, my mom because just because, like, I'm super, like, I'm super duper, like, emotional. My dad is real emotional, you feel me? And my mom, she, like, gets through stuff without showing nothing. My dad, he going to show you, gonna, you know what I'm saying? He can't hide it. And, like, my loyalty, like, with people, like, I don't care about money. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how my dad was. He never, like, his hood, the hood, we it was like a mob. It wasn't no, like, like we got to be rich. You know what I'm saying? It was like old school John Guy, like, you don't lie to me, I won't lie to you right. type shit, you know? So that's just what I was raised around. And I always wanted to be around my dad growing up. So growing up, I always, like, my mama had me playing football and stuff, but I always chose to be around my dad and the homies, you know? Yeah. So that shit grew up on me a lot. Your mom is no emotion, and your dad is all emotion. All emotion. My mom will show emotion, but my mom is super strong about her emotion. Like, you know what I'm saying? She going to smile at you like when you think she, you know what I'm saying? Mm. She really strong about it. Damn. that's So with, with, with your pops, um, 
obviously him getting deported and, and being out the picture in that sense. What was the communication like when oh, he yeah. was gone at that point? I uh, talked to him every day. Still. Okay. So you still my maintain dad, the communication? Yeah, my dad, all he cared about is his kids. You feel me? Like, even when it comes to street, it took him a long time to realize a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. But for his kids, his, he don't care. He going to make sure he talked to his kids. Yes. And at what point were, did you get turned out to the streets and, and people knowing your pops in the hood, like, was that pressure on you? Like, oh, yeah, you, you Daco son. Like, Even, like, when people be like, like, be like, when you get put on, like, yeah. I've been from the shit since 1994, bro, since I was born. Like, as soon as I came out the womb, it yeah. was, I went to the projects. I went to, you feel me? Yeah. That's how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like a golden child where I'm from, you know? In my area, like, it's like, that's, that's midget, that's Taco son, right. like. I've been around since been around. <laughs> so for you, but for you walking into the, to that, was it more or less of walking into it like, yo, this is pressure, or yeah, I'm living up to my pop's name? They never wanted me to do the bad shit. They never, you know I, what I'm saying? I could imagine. I could imagine. <laughs> so literally me doing what I'm doing now, mm-hmm. it's like bringing tears to everybody because it's like I literally got away from all that. Yeah. You feel me? My dad used to treat us like his little homies, me and my little brother. Like, my, he, we was his... Little homies, not his sons. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we we doing shit in the hood for him. Mm-hmm. So when it was like when we turned like when we flipped the page on people, because everybody thinking we going down the bad route the yeah. whole time. The whole time, no, they just exposing us to what's good and bad. They Nobody. letting us know. You know what I'm saying? At, at an early age, I knew right from wrong. Yeah. So when I when I figured out like like and start seeing like stuff like my uncle. Getting life, you feel me? My uh, Sean Mack, like yeah. dying, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It was just like I gotta flip the script. I gotta, I gotta make a difference. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I did, bro. It's just literally turned a negative into a positive. What was what is that the thing that that made you lock in on the music? Was it Sean Mack or was it? Oh yeah, yeah. That was, but I even like... even be, even when he was alive, he the one who told me, "Hey, this what you gonna do, and you gonna be this." You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's always somebody I follow behind. So. But Sean Mack, it was just literally like already motivation. When he passed, though, it was like a slap in the face. Like, nigga, you better get on your this shit. This shit can be taken away. But in, in fast. Yeah. So I just literally like, I don't I don't care about negative. Like, I get mad at my homies when they on negative shit. Like, I'm just super like focused on what's going to benefit what's going on with us. I do. I will say that, too. I always see you smiling. Man, like, I love smiling. And I think that I think that sets the tone, too, for yeah, a lot yeah. of people because people obviously come in L.A. They got a perception about, especially your section, like, yeah. oh, he's from over here. Like, <laughs> right. And so I feel like people like yourself, shout out to, you know, Nip used to get down like that. Other couple other people, like, they would just come in and it'd be very non-threatening, be, yeah. like very inviting. You know what I'm saying? I see you talking to everybody. I saw yeah. you out there today taking pictures with the kids and shit yeah. like that. I feel like that's important. I just want to, like I said, I just want to be somebody who everybody going to remember and love, you know? And at the end of the day, like, bro, Cribs, everybody, it's like I don't have no filter, you feel me? And people put a filter on me. Yeah. Like sometimes they'd be like, I remember one time a promoter hit me up like, oh, yeah, I want to book you for this show, but we got Savvy Third on there too. I'm like, what that mean? He's a crib, you're a blood. That's my boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all putting a filter on us. Y'all don't know what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? It's not 1997. I think it is what it is. It's a lot of ignorance, too. People don't know that, yo, that's that's such a prehistoric way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's not even like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do want to touch on that too, because I feel like that's big. And um a lot of us quote unquote old heads don't give y'all enough credit. For the scene that y'all have built right. in the city, y'all put that shit on y'all back, and yeah. I feel like, and this is this is me being DJ head saying <laughs> what the fuck I feel. We didn't have that. Right. Like when I was coming up, like all the people that where I'm sitting right now, the people that we was looking at, they didn't do that for us. Like right. they would just ignore, act like it didn't exist. But the scene that y'all yeah. built in our in the city, I felt like it's one of the best things I've ever seen Hell because yeah. I know what that's like. You know what I'm saying? You shoreline. One take. Quan, Quan is here right now. Get a shot of Quan over there in the corner. Quan over there. He, he like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking like you said, Savi. Like yeah. it's just and Kalen, like the Chike, Chike, like the what, what y'all what y'all are doing out here. It hasn't been done in a long time, bro. I'm talking about Hell 10 yeah. years. And you guys are all moving together, bro. I'm, we with each other every day. That's, That's what people don't get. Like I'm literally with these niggas every day. Like. We don't like outside of music. We literally sitting on the couch eating. We bullshit together. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? These my homies. These somebody, like these some people 
who literally built built this whole thing with me. And like, even with Jay and Tyke, like how when they got their deals, you know what I'm saying? It was always us still. Mm-hmm. You no, know, they always kept us in the loop. We all going on tour together. We not we doing shows together. That's why people like booking us now. To be honest, they be they be trying to get us because they know <laughs> like, we're like gonna, gonna come. Yeah. Out. One everybody get one, else get gonna pull up. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I just wanted to give you props for that because I felt like. That's missing. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of acknowledgement is missing. Even the shit that y'all do on your own, the concerts, the shows, your show, the Roxy, yeah. like other things that be going on that a lot of people don't try to give y'all credit for. It took yeah. holiday, like doing they shit. And I, crazy. I feel Matthew like Cole. Yeah. I feel like what's missing, y'all are bringing to the city. Exactly. And that's been going for a long time. Um, also, I want to touch on this too. What's some what's been something that uh like what's been an obstacle for you being mixed, like being biracial, like as far especially coming up in your in, My name in LA, is like Juan Carlos Martinez. <laughs> it, these niggas talk about me all day. <laughs> the jokes, you know what yeah, I'm I mean, saying? I know you get the jokes. Yeah, yeah I but know I, you get the Latin jokes, but I'm just saying, like, it's like I don't it gotta know. be difficult though. Yeah, it's, it, it is. I ain't gonna lie to you, but at the same time, like I'm a nigga. I don't even know how to explain it. Fool, like. <laughs> like they talk shit because they be like, look at you, fool. Yeah. Like you talking <laughs> all this shit. You got yeah. curly yeah. hair. Yeah, like, yeah. I, it's it's. I, I think like if anything, I think it's a like it helped me. Yeah, it's an advantage. You for sure. Me? It's yeah. an advantage. Yeah, I don't really look at it no other way though. But the Hispanic shit, like I'm saying in the streets or even politics wise. Yeah, it's like I'm been... saying like the Hispanics like. They fuck with me tough just because you feel me. I'm I got some Hispanic in me. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like they don't even think about the black side. Yeah. They like nigga, your name Juan. Like yeah. we fucking with we you fuck for with that. Your name yeah. Juan Carlos. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? But like even like the Mexicans, even when they find out that I'm from El Salvador, right. they be like, all right, we, we still, we, we still with you fuck with you though. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so I it's like, like it's the, cool. I like it though. Politically though, it's never caused you any problems. Nah, that's no, not at all. Not at all. How, how does it feel? You know, we talked about you know. Your pops, your you, you know your reputation. How does it feel to to have that billboard? You know what I'm saying? What is, what does that moment feel like when that billboard is in the city? Well, I look at it. I just I was just looking at it just now. Um, basically, look, it's like you know you know the, the enemies like who don't who don't like us. All right, mm-hmm. the cops, mm-hmm. Ingo Police Department. I know, bro. I know they're so mad they're, right now. We got this nigga out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it's like, my dad, I'm telling you, is like John Gotti from where we from. Mm-hmm. So having him, like the most notorious gangster from where we from, on the billboard, it just means a whole lot. You feel me? Like, it's just literally like rain down on me. Oh, like, man. damn, man. But it's so, it's just motivated, man. Yeah. I want to get, I just told uh, Holiday, my manager, I'm like, and I want cool, but we need more. We more, need more. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, we need more. Like, that's cool. I can't, I'm ready to work on my next album, to be honest. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm ready to keep showing them about what's going on over here, but that's just a blessing, bro. That's Keep just that a blessing. That's literally, on. and to be honest, that's that 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 label. Mm, yeah. Shout out to Empire. Shout out to Empire, you feel me? They doing what they supposed to do for, for me, you feel me? Um, I do want to talk about that, too. Um, you was already moving, like, already on your own. You and your right. you and, and Cole doing your shit, mm-hmm. right? Um, what was, like, what was a determining factor for y'all to go click up, like, obviously, and do, a, do the deal with them and stuff like Obviously, Ghazi, Nima, Gentry are amazing I've never, I haven't spoke highly about her, about another motherfucker than Gentry, yeah. but I feel like y'all were already kind of doing your thing, and you didn't really need a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was the determining factor for Rucci to to go ahead and sign up? Man, we was on tour. Uh, we was in, we was on tour. I forgot what tour. I think it was the Rich and Ratchet tour with uh, Tyke and Jay. We was in San Francisco, and they called in like, "Come to the office." You feel me? I went up there. I I was already a fan of Empire because of. I'm a big fan of street quality music, like mm-hmm. Mozzie, like yeah, they, like unlimited music. Yeah. So going in there, I was already telling myself like, if anything, I fuck with Empire because they're gonna let me do what I want to do. So I went in there, I was talking to them, then they start letting me like they started like, hey, you could do an album, right? But you could drop an EP before your album. You could drop this song before your album. You could do all this still. You know what I'm saying? We're not tripping off none of that. And they start talking about the numbers, and the numbers was right. You mm-hmm. feel me? Then, matter of fact, my first time being there, I sat in the uh, office with Gazi. True story. I sat in the office with Gazi for like an hour and a half, and all we listened to is RBL Posse, Spice One. Wow. Because they like, I guess that was his, you know, his favorite music, you know. And that's my 
one of my favorite groups, and I listen to a lot of old school Bay music. You feel me? So, we was listening to uh, Eleven Five, like all that Garcia Vega, like you know what I'm saying. So we was just in there, just vibing and knowing that this man got the same likes as me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It really don't take much, bro. And it a lot. I think a lot of people overlook stuff like that, like because it's confirmation. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people look past like stuff like that. That's something that bring people together. Yeah. Um, and they like they they was liking me for who I was, you know what I'm saying? And not trying to mold you into something that they want. They let to me be. be who I want to be. Like everybody know me. I walk around my hair wild. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You yeah. feel me? But I'm just a, a, just just me. Like I'm a big fan of Bone Thugs. That's just how I move, you right. know. So when I was in the office, they was like letting me be me and letting understand like letting me understand the game, like give me cheat codes. Like you ain't got to do this. You know what I'm saying? You could do this still. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we just sat back and then. We came together, me, Holiday, and Tuck, and was just like, we want to want a platform. We want to go to the next level, yep. you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this by ourselves. We did it for long enough, you know? Let's let's see what they can do for us. Man, let's, not, let's not let's block, not block no blessings. Let's let's open up our, our minds and figure out what they can do for us, and they came through. Man, I feel like it's 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 been a, it's been a solid run for you, also, and the, and the album is. It's solid too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good yeah. body of work. The um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say on on um, uh, was it um, fake fake gonna hate right? Right. And we was kind of talking about this a second, but I want you to use this opportunity to speak on him. You said y'all uh y'all see Rucci, but y'all don't, don't know Mac. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want you to open up about that because the the company's Mac and Co. Y'all obviously did a project yeah. in 2016, man. Talk about who Sean Mac was and 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 why he's so important for you to still carry that name and that yeah. legacy. Yeah, I'm. I'm and just for the time, I'm, I don't I don't like when people be trying to be like I don't want to ask him about Sean. I'm strong about the whole yeah. situation. You feel me? But um, Sean Mack was my big homie from the hood. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody I grew up with. He only a year older than me, yeah. but he always moved faster than everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was a hustler, 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 hustler. I was already rapping. He was like always out of state. So he like, man, hey, little bro, when I get back, we gonna we gonna do a tape together called Mac Rucci. I'm like, what? He like Mac Rucci. He came back. He start paying for studio time. He makes sure, you know, I'm getting it in. And it's just somebody I let, I mean, I follow behind because he always put me in the right position. And when it comes to hustling, get money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He always put me in the right position. But the thing with Sean is he moves so fast. You know, you don't know what he's doing. Like, he could be here and then in Arizona the next yeah. hour, you know? So with him, it was just always, like, keeping, like, that, that same energy. He always kept the same energy. He always went like the extra mile for me. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, Sean Mack, he was just my best friend. He was just somebody I can really rely on, yeah, you know, man. and he always put he put me first a lot. And I, I just love how, how I see you still screaming it, you know what I'm saying, still yeah. keep it going. So sometimes, like, when, and, and it's no no love lost, but sometimes people are hurt behind it. And yeah. They can't talk about it. So that memory fades and it's only stuck Man, he here. got us so strong, bro, mm-hmm. you don't understand. He got us on some whole other shit. Like, yeah. we don't, we ain't finna, we gonna cry to ourselves, but okay, we ain't gonna cry like we gonna celebrate. We gonna go up for my boy. You feel me? And that's why I said that y'all see roots, y'all see what's going on, but y'all don't know oh, where this fuel is coming from. You know, mm-hmm. exactly. so it's literally like just him. Like literally, when I'm on stage, I got my eyes closed, like because I it, it's just I always think about me and him on stage. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times I be having my eyes closed because I just envisioning me and him up there. Gotcha. But and yeah. he dropped the uh, the keep going video. Yeah, that's the first song I made after he passed. Okay, I was wondering, because yeah. the, the the tone of it, the, yeah. the like the texture of it was like real like somber. Mm-hmm. It was it was more of a, like a story vibe type thing. That's the first song I made when he passed. Oh, I wasn't even gonna get in the studio. They they were like you gotta get in the studio, fool. And I was I was going through it. You feel me? But I literally just got in the studio. That's when I first like just stopped writing. Like period. Like I'm gonna just go in there and tell you how I feel. Mm. So I start. Really telling people how I feel, and that's the first song I went in there and did. And I was just literally, um, I said, "Boss man, boss man, my boy." That's like my best friend. And like, just growing up, um, he was somebody that I could talk to about anything. You feel me? So it's literally me, like, like I said, opening up and like literally, like, "Hey, boss man, hey, check it out. Let me tell you how I'm really feeling right now." You know? And I, that's it. Just flow and to keep going. Shit, I I was on some Boosie shit. I was just on some like just listening to Boosie and Webby, like. Yeah. Yeah, I was on that vibe. Also on the album, La Bamba's on there. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that song. You don't like La Bamba? No. Okay. <laughs> it's on your album. Why, why you know not? what I'm saying? Why not? I don't want them to think that I'm on that. That vibe. Go loco. 
Yeah. Uh, that little way. I know I'm really Hispanic, but at the same time, I feel like it's too much of that on the West Coast right now. Got you. And I don't want no. I don't want nobody to get. I don't. Want, man, LeBron, it's hard, but at the same time, I like I said, bro. Like, I don't. I, if I don't like the song, I'm gonna be 100. Exactly. No, that's 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 honest. And the thing I is, appreciate the honesty. The, the thing is, I mean, you said it earlier. You don't want to be boxed in, so yeah. it's like, why even? You know what I'm saying? But like, even with like stuff like too. Cholo and stuff like that, like I, I'm gonna give it to y'all. I was saying, I was gonna say that. Because yeah. I was like, I appreciate the fact that you actually being Latino. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And touching on that and not shying away from it. A lot of people would try to bury that shit. Yeah. And, like, move away from it. My like, grandma, though, that's the biggest thing. My grandma, she, like, when I made, like, La Bamba stuff like yeah. that, and, like, to, like, my grandma, like, she, like, so... Hispanic, bro. It's pride, though. Yeah, so she like, finally, like, like I got something yeah. I can play. You feel me? I made a song before that called Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. Yeah. So it's like, she, like I, I will give it to you, but it's not something I like doing. I'm going to be honest with right. you. I, I feel like if I start making money, like, in Mexico for this shit, then I'll probably do that shit. Like, <laughs> for sure, but. Right, right. <laughs> Man. He said, what? Just forget that. But I love I love my Hispanic fans. Of course, of course. That, I love that. But you can't you can't shy away from the honesty. Either. Exactly. So no, I, I respect that. Yeah. Um for you, uh, was do you feel like well, let me ask you this. Was there another song on the project that you felt like it was hard to open up on? Or like what was the most challenging one for you? Like stepping out and talking about your story. Like, what do you feel like on this project it was the hardest um, one? I think the song with RJ, mm -hmm. Rags to Riches. Okay. Watch um, that. that's something I like that verse on there, I was I was really like in my feelings like about my dad. Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I was literally like like thinking like, damn, like like I'm rich now, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my dad still not here. So it's like stuff like that, it was like it got to me. Yeah. Got to me, like, you gotta do more, you gotta go harder, you feel me? So on that song, I really opened up, like, and let y'all know about, like, even my dad off cocaine. Like, I'm letting y'all know this the shit that we was going through, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't no gimmicks. It was literally, like, we had to face this every day. Me and my little brother had to face my little, I mean, my, my dad going on his trips. You feel me? Yeah. Just had to open up. Was that something that you shied away from prior to this? Mm -hmm. Or was it just? I never wanted to really tell nobody about my dad like that because he was going through criminal yeah. situations, like, you, you don't know. Want to speak on it. I didn't want to speak on it, but like now that my dad is gonna be free in Mexico, yeah, it's like I want. I always tell him that he should write a book about being a Hispanic from a black gang. That'd be fire. Gotta be. I would. Be I would fuck fire. with that. You feel what I'm saying? Because he's been through so. Like how you said, like. Do I get any backlash or like, you know, politics? Politics is a mother. I know how that shit works. My dad's been through so much being Juan Martinez from a black, from, you know what I'm saying? From power rule. So it's like, it was always like, what you gonna do? You gonna be with us? You gonna be with them? And it's like, I'm gonna be with the blacks. Like, yeah, I know yeah, I ain't black, but that's, right, you feel right. me? That's just the life he chose. And he had so much bullshit after that. Even going to El Salvador, like, you feel me? They, when he was, uh, when he went, when he was going from El Salvador to Mexico, like, he had to, Go through a river, you feel me? Like he had to sneak into that place. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a documentary on Tuesday. I yeah. got a screen for that. So yeah. I, everything I'm talking it's, about is gonna be in the documentary. Okay. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just it was like it's like an everyday thing with my dad though. Even now, like you guys, holiday, holiday really just like met my dad and then he was hard on my managers. He was like, yeah. what the, "Who the fuck is y'all? What yeah. is y'all gonna do for my son? Why is y'all let him?" I walked outside to go get somebody. Right? He went up to them like, "Y'all gonna let him go by himself?" Damn. What's wrong with y'all? Like, and they like, like, what the hell? Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's my dad. He mm. on air. He not comfortable ever. Like, he on alert. He he go to sleep with his shoes on. Are you Damn. serious? Am I lying? That's crazy, bro. He don't, like, he... I know, no, the reason I said it's crazy because I know somebody like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to this day, you can't tell him nothing. Like, he, you got to be on point. He institutionalized. Yeah, you gotta, he's like, you got to be on point. I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm, what <laughs> I'm you good. mean? Like, this, we in the hotel. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nah, white people running this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, my dad, <laughs> hey, I'm telling, bro, I'm telling you, I'm like, dad, look, I got you a spot on Rosarito Beach. Bro, good. relax. Yeah. He like, what? I don't give a fuck about this. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hey, they tell him, hey, he like, send me an Uber right now. I'm going, I'm going back to my house. Send me an Uber right now. We in the middle of Mexico, bro. You can't send you no You can't send an Uber. Uber. <laughs> you can't call no Uber in Mexico. But we just literally had to 
even Holiday, like, you know what I'm saying? You have to literally talk to him, you know? Yeah. And understand him, because that dude, he don't care about a lot of stuff. That's amazing. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Uh, I was going to say, look, I know you don't have kids. I do something called dad advice, right? right. So I ask, you know, artists, you know, what, what advice would you give to other fathers? So let's flip it. Since you taco son, mm -hmm. what advice do you feel like is the best advice that your dad gave to you growing up? Man, I ain't going to lie. My dad got three rules. Don't snitch, don't snitch, don't snitch. Wow. Are you serious? That's it. That's Dead it. Dead ass. I'm going to be 100. I'm telling yeah. you how we was raised. We was just raised like that, man. We was just raised on some loyalty shit. But my dad always, my dad is a big person about trust. Mm -hmm. Trust. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't trust you. Don't trust me. I'm going to do me. You do you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He always told me to be my own person, even if people didn't fuck with me. I think that's that's that's, that's dope the way you're able to, because a lot of people, a lot of times when you do that or that that persona, you hear that and you would feel like somebody would be super standoffish, like you said, have an institutionalized yeah. mentality. But you're so opposite of that, but yeah. yet you still had that loyalty amongst mm -hmm. your folks that's how, too. That's why I be trying to like like people let people know, and like even now, like like we don't play that shit. Yeah. Like me and I, like especially like you got to think about me, like the homies not playing like. And I'm real respected, you feel me, and protected. So it's like the way we move, we not on no like bullshit. We move militant, you feel me? Because right. I'm taco son. It might be motherfuckers that don't like me because they don't like my dad. Of course, you know. Mm -hmm. So the way like like, and we don't speak on it. Mm -hmm. We don't. I don't even like like brandishing all that gangster shit. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? Like I might tell you like talk that shit in music, but on a day to day basis, I'm I want to be a regular person that you could talk to about. Nigga, fucking NASA or something. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be like I said. I don't want to be boxed in. I, don't, I want. I want it to go bigger than this. I know music gonna open a lot of doors for me. You know what I'm saying. So I'm doing this for longevity and timeless. I want to be so timeless to the point like I want to be like, like fucking like Snoop. You know all the original gangsters in this shit. You feel me? Who to this day, you know the Hispanics, bro. Hispanics would come up to you today and be like, "Hey, you heard that Tupac?" Yep. Like, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, that was two, three years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah but sure. you know what I'm saying? It's timeless music, though. Yeah. Like, ambitious yeah, of a right. It's, it's something that people going to be able to play for the rest of their life. Right. Feel me? And that's all. I, I just want to be timeless. That's it's, it. But you, timeless outside of the music as well. Yeah. Too. That's gotcha. what I'm saying. As a gotcha. person, like, mm -hmm. as people, like, like, like understanding who, who I am and where I came from, I just want them to know. Like, so What's one thing that people don't know about Ruchi? Whether it's a skill that you got, whether it's, you know, something that you've done in the past or something that you may not have done if it wasn't for the music like what's one thing that people don't know about Ruchi that maybe the biggest misconception about you you love anime <laughs> <laughs> you drawing no. anime your favorite oh, cereal is plain Cheerios <laughs> some weird shit like that uh, they know I smoke out of a bong <laughs> oh I know something I know something what's that, that? he only put he, he only put smart water in his bong Wait, what <laughs> he feel he he fills his bong up with smart water. He wow. buys a he buys smart water. Hey, that is crazy, you yeah. Yeah, hey, He called me doing it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, everything. Yeah, hey. he called me doing. It. He was like, "What, what the, the fuck, fuck is you doing? doing? <laughs> you smoking that, right?" You know what I'm saying? Hey, but not um, I like I, a lot of people don't know this about me. I don't listen to nothing, no type of music today. Like today's music, nothing. No. Anything that's on the radio. No anything. disrespect to none of these of people. Course, of listen, course. I don't listen to no Drake. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to no Future. I don't listen to nothing. But it's old school shit. Old school shit. So, okay, old school meaning two, early 2000s? Nah, or old school meaning before like it has that, to be I'm 90s. talking about, bro. It has to be when 90s. When he was born. No, no bro, before I'm that. talking about. 80s? Bro. You want I'm, some 70s bro, shit? Bro, what you everything mean? before me, bro. I'm talking about. Like, nigga, everything uh, prior to 1994. Everything. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm trying to give y'all some examples. Um, well, you gave us. You said Spice One. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm talking about other genres too, like oh, Confunction. Like shit, I'm, okay. I'm a big person with like old school music. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like I listen to what's that? A lot of people don't listen to Ed Sheeran. Word. You feel what I'm saying? I just have a big ass mind when it comes to music. As you should. In a, in a big. I respect ear. that. So yeah, like a lot of people don't know that though. A lot of people think like that I'd be on the same. Like I like Kodak. That's one of my favorite artists right now. And shit like that, but I don't listen to none of this so, no shit. So Ed Sheeran, give me another one that that that's off. But but Ed Sheeran, well that, that's outside of the genre, but that's he's out the box. Still. He's present uh, though. Ed Sheeran, but it's because um, it's out the box. Bro, I got this yeah, weird ass to play lady this. in my phone, bro. And how do you discover how do you discover music at this point? 
Is it based uh, off of what other people listen to, or you do you hit random on your your uh, playlist? Yeah, I just I know. Look, if you look, bro, I, you got old shit. Read, read some shit. Read some shit, Ed. Yeah, uh, Denise Williams, Donnell Jones, Ed Sheeran, uh, Faith Evans. Uh, who else? Let me see. Immature, the group. Shout out to Marcus Houston. And, okay. Uh, the Isley Brothers. Wow. Uh, Keep Sweat. Man, he wasn't bullshitting. Yeah. Cut Close. Damn. Mary J, of course. Mike. Uh, Monica, New Edition. Nivea. Damn, I ain't heard that name in a Biggie. Minute. Jeez. Raphael Sadiq. He ain't bullshit. Yeah. Hey, you an old young nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and nah, that's the thing. Like, in a, like even like when I, I vibe with you, though, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sit here and just be like and block the music out. You know right, what I'm right. saying? I'm just not it's a just big fan. It's just not your preference. Yeah, it's not, I'm not Got a big it. fan that of makes it. Sense. That you makes tweeted sense. this, uh, this last thing. We, you tweeted this on February 6th of this year. You said, I am the hottest unsigned. <laughs> Let no, that sorry. sink in. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you was tweeting that, was that coming from a place of? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Jay and Tyke, my boys, right? That's when they signed their deal. Mm. Mm. Damn. So you fired? I this... was. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Tyke. I was. In my, I was in my was feelings. In your boy. feelings. Okay. Right. The reason why I brought this up is because you did say you was emotional. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to bring this tweet up. <laughs> and then when you was like, I'm emotional. Like, I, I get that from my dad. I'm like, yeah. okay, bet. Here's my end. So this was an emotional tweet. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was in my feelings. Okay. Yeah, I, that's when Jay and Tyson signed their deal. And I was like, I was, it was just being with these niggas every day. You got to understand that. It's just like, damn. What am I, I doing that? wrong? Or... Yeah, what am, what am I not doing? You know? But then I took it at, I took it on some shit like that. Like, you know what? All right, cool. I'm the hottest unsigned then. Mm. You feel me? And I'm gonna make it that I'm gonna make it to the point where somebody gonna say something. Right. You know? And that's just how I feel. Cause I even now I don't never I, I'm humble as hell. I don't never say nothing. Mm. Like even they holiday and them, they be like, bro, you sold out the rocks and you did this. Yeah, 211, easy, 211, like, bro, why don't you ever like talk shit or you know what I'm saying? I feel like I've been like I've been a nigga, like I've been somebody. You feel mm-hmm. me? Right. Like before this rap shit, I, I feel like I've been somebody to everybody. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm really doing for myself, it's just something I'm just knocking out goals, bro. Yeah. And I'm you just know. trying to. I probably you probably won't see me talking shit until I'm on an island, my island with five bad bitches. Or something. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm gonna be talking shit. It's just I, I I just want so much more, bro. So so speaking of goals, man, we always ask people what's one thing uh, that you have to do. Before the year ends, and year can't end without Rucci doing what? Rolling loud again. Rolling loud. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's the next? I, I really, I really, December. December, okay. Yeah, and they've been tapping in too. I really, uh, I love festivals, bro. Mm. I'm doing day and night in Vegas. Yep, too. yep. Congrats on that. I love, I love that's, festivals. That's damn near one of the biggest hip hop festivals. Yeah, outside, outside of our, our real, real street, street, street fest. fest. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you know I that. thought about hey, real street fest. Hey, that's yeah, listen, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, they be telling me like when they when I when they booked me for that holiday was like, bro, you got booked for something. I'm like, what's that? Like, I don't be in it like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's I don't huge. be in the loop. And now that I know stuff like that, I really be like, yeah, that, them are goals that you know. But I, I always put this out there. I I, I got a lifetime goal, bro. I just want to do for everybody around me. You can ask them, bro. Yeah. I don't I don't say no to shit. I literally like. All you gotta do is ask me. Yeah. You feel me? And I'm gonna get it done for you. You know what I'm saying? That's just the type. I, I'm not comfortable unless you're comfortable. Mm. So when does Ruchi say no? Or are those moments where you like, okay, there's a clear holiday gotta say no. There's a clear, okay. I don't I, I'm 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 not I'm I don't know. But I am like when it comes to my music though, like if niggas just like I done told Quan no all the time, you feel me? Like he all you know, Quan, let me get on this, let me get on. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but, like, that's just, like, you know what I'm saying? Being on. Some people I do nah, say. Nah, you weak, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> nah, real shit, Quan. Like, hey, I get uh, the Fuck It Up song Quan got. Yeah. That was my beat and everything. Oh, and I was like, I, I tried to go up on it, right? Mm-hmm. And Quan was like, like, he did something. I need a, I'm like, bro, just do that shit. Like, just do your shit, yeah. bro. And I, I just had to have a little piece of it. That's why I did the hook. Bro. You feel what <laughs> I'm saying? a little piece. Jump on Yeah, but nah, when it comes to my music, that's probably when I say no. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm real, like, hands-on with what I do, so I give a fuck about it. Um, I did see um, 
like obviously you got relationships outside of here, people tapping in and whatnot, mm -hmm. people fuck. What's been I, I seen you fucking with uh Shorty Shorty. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Shorty too. Yeah. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like he underrated. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Sure. I feel like he deserves so much more recognition. Mm. Like, I think probably because I got some of his unreleased shit that he's about to put out. You probably I, know what he said. Bro, me. I don't think nobody fucking with him on what he do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, he just like another Greedo to me. You I know what I'm saying? I, 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 I exact, that's exactly what I think, He too. like another Greedo to me. You feel me? They sound similar, but at the same time, they work ethic is crazy. Um, who else outside of Shorty has been people that's been tapping in that's not necessarily from here that's kind of maybe surprised you? Bro, uh, our future taco. Oh, really? Word. That's my boy. Damn, really? Yeah, he got, he having a gender swim on music and shit. Yeah, got, For real? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh that's kind of oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, He hard, though. Uh, it's a lot of people, though. I think... I think they... something that, that may stood out to you, like, damn, I didn't even know they was fucking with me like that. Maybe, like, somebody... Um, Damn, Cardo. Really? Cardo tweeted that Rich is hard or something like that. What did, what did he, some I don't know. He tweeted about me though, and I was just like, "That's big." Like, what well, I noticed too, man, you're real hands on with your social media. Like you retweeting everybody that that mentions you. Yeah. You, uh, you just go out of your way to give. I want to. I want to give a big shout out to Holiday for that. For that, that was a. I ain't gonna was, lie, Holiday be on like he. He be like I get anxiety a lot. Like when I when I open my phone, you feel me? And I and it's too much going on. I literally I don't want to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Holiday be on this shit. He be you gotta tap in. Yeah, you feel me? Making sure my fans know what's up. That's, you know. Hey, that's, so that's like I said, like it's you gotta have some a team, bro. Like you have to. You have to, bro. It's like people always talk about they do it by themselves. Like it's me. Like you know what I'm saying? I always be like, yeah, I'm I'm a self made nigga. But at the same time. I do this shit with my niggas, bro. We all self-made. You feel me? We all carry. That's how we carry. Right, right. Let me ask you this real quick. Um, we wrap up. Um, how do you deal with separating the music from the street shit? Like, because a lot of people be one foot in, one foot out. They be like trying to balance, trying to have their homies work with them. Yeah, I'm super strict on that, bro. Okay. I'm super strict on that. Like, even when I was recording in the hood, uh, 1500, like the homies are coming. It's homies from, the, you know, who want to rap. You, you got to just tell them, bro, like, I'm not gonna do nothing for you until you do something for yourself. Like, mm. period. Like, and like I said, I'm well respected where I'm from. So even with like being in the streets, they understood always. Like, I, I tell them quick, I don't give a fuck about this shit, bro. I don't care about this street shit, bro. Cause I've been I've been in the streets 25 years, bro. Facts. And the streets ain't did shit for me. Facts. You feel me? I had to go. I had to go make the streets love me. The streets, no, the streets don't love you, bro. You Facts. feel me? So I had to I had to go out my way and make y'all pay attention to what I had going on. You feel me? So I literally like I'm a big like I, I don't know I I separate that shit. Fast. That's what's you up. ask the homies like quick they be like what's up bro what you doing what you gotta do he don't give a fuck if you don't like it period that's just me like if you don't like it bro that's on you but I'm literally doing for my homies right so it's like they can't like nobody can say anything my homies like literally behind me a hundred percent right now that's why I'm. I am who I am right now because I, you know, you need that that street cred. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, I'm not talking this bullshit and ain't going to have no goons. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I can't do that. You can't, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I got to have these people around me, you know? Yeah. And they understand that I take it super serious. Yeah. They understand that I ain't, like, if y'all coming to my show, you feel me? Y'all going to move how I move, you feel me? Ain't no acting up, you feel me? Me and Sean Mack had a bad reputation. We used to open up for Joe Moses, bro. Mm -hmm. Joe Moses... Shout out to Joe Moses, like he gave us a lot of opportunities, but we fucked up a lot of those opportunities. That's that's we, honestly you to admit that though. Yeah, we was coming to shows, 30 homies, red rags. Oh shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. We was fucking up a lot of shit, bro. Yeah. We was we was ready to get blackballed. You know? So just like I said, I just always learned, bro. It took patience. It took for me to understand, like, they know I'm a blood. I ain't gotta wear no red rag. So now it's like I move way different. I I got business around me, but I still got the streets around me. That's what's up. Give some advice to a kid that may be from, you know, the inner city. Uh, uh, some, Whatever kid, wherever he from, that's looking at Ruchi like, man, how can I do this? How can I do what Ruchi did? Um, I always say this for, like, just any field. You got to have confidence in what you do. You got to literally go in there and know that you can do it. And, like, you feel me? It's going to make you better at whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Because once you have confidence, it's going to be some people who be like, he think he the shit. You know what I'm saying? He think he can do this. And that's when you be like, well, I can. I'm going to show you, you know? 
So I, I, I just tell all the kids to have confidence and stay focused and don't let nobody trick you off these streets. You feel me? What about school? What would you tell them about school? Stay in school. I yeah. fucked up. I fucked up. I um stay in school, man. Um, I ain't going to sit here and be like, I'm going to go back and get my GED. Right. It'll probably happen, but I'm not focused on that right now. But I want all the kids to stay in school. And What, what do you take, feel like you missed out on, though? If you feel like if you feel like you, bro, you I went to life. my graduation. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't have no. Graduation, you didn't have no graduation. Bro. Listen, <laughs> fool. <laughs> listen, <laughs> you dropped out of twenty. Hey, grade. listen, what about? That's like a nigga that comes I was, to the. Oh, right, I was, so, what the fuck is he doing? Here? I was supposed to graduate in twenty twelve, bro. I don't know why I went to my well, my class's graduation. Bro, okay, there you the homie graduation, bro. <laughs> when I seen that, I'm sitting up there, looking them. They smiling, uh, walking, cap and gown. I'm, they just so happy that they accomplishing something, bro. I wasn't accomplishing nothing at that point. Got you. I was literally a fucking loser. Damn. You feel me? And between them ages, like like high school ages, bro, school is something that's gonna keep you be like it's gonna keep it's gonna maintain you as a person. You know what I'm saying? When I I, I couldn't maintain myself when I dropped out. Mm. I, I was all over the place. You feel me? So, like, if I was in school, I could have kept rapping. Like. It ain't like school would have stopped anything that's going on. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I could have kept rapping. But it's just like I just dropped out and started losing myself, bro. And I had to find myself. I feel like school helps you find yourself at an early. Kind of straight, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I respect that. Man. Taco Sun out right now. Rushi, yeah. man. It's a, it's a pleasure talking to you, man. Look look forward to seeing everything progress throughout the years, man. And, and just you becoming that iconic household name that – you had that confidence to be, bro. Just keep yes, doing yeah, your thing. Yeah, yeah. And you can't say you're the hottest unsigned anymore. I can't. Signed. But I can't <laughs> say I, I can't say I'm the hottest Inglewood artist. Yeah, it is. West Coast. There it is. You know Rucci. what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, shout out to Homegrown, man. Yeah. Mac and Cole. Shout out Mac Fabric. Inglewood Rucci, man. It's Homegrown Radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, and we out. Yeah.